Yo, what's up, guys? This is Retronic Ice Cat. You're on the Real News Talk channel. As some of you may have watched NXT not long ago, Roxanne Perez successfully retained her NXT women's belt against the legend, Mako Satamora. It was a very, very good match. I mean, Mako Satamora gave Roxanne a hell of a fight. I mean, she did develop some stiff kicks towards Roxy, you know, and Roxy fought her way through the match and she retained the NXT women's title. And after that, Meko Satomura raised a hand in the air. I saw Roxy staggering before she even got up. When she leaned against the rope, she was staggering. So there was a sign of something wrong. Then she had her hand raised up by Meko Satomura. And then all of a sudden, she just collapsed in the ring. Now, a lot of people are saying that if, if this is a work or if it's real. Let me give you a little history lesson. Shawn Michaels in 1995 had a match with Owen Hart. Another classic match. The late great Owen Hart. May he rest in peace. Had a heartfelt match and then Shawn Michaels won the match. And all of a sudden he held his head and then collapsed in the ring. That's the same way Roxy collapsed tonight. Because if you think about it, if it was real, if it was, let's say if it was real, do you think they'll have the camera still rolling? I'm sure things can happen in a blink of an eye. Unexpected things can happen and people may not know what to do at that point, at that moment. But let's think about it. Let's think logically. This has to be part of something new. Something new for Roxy. Because she can come back and she's going to be even more popular. A, she might come back as a bigger baby face. Or two, she might come back and face Meko Satomura again. Or she may turn heel on Meko Satomura. Just before stand and deliver. Ever thought about that? So those are the three possible things that could happen. With Roxy. And I believe it's going to happen. Successfully. Because there's a twist. With this whole thing with her collapsing and whatnot. You understand what I'm saying? Because like I said before, if it was real. They wouldn't have the cameras rolling. And they would have just ended the show straight away because they did go overtime a little bit. So imagine if that was totally real. Because the way they stretched her out and everything, and the ambulance was already by the exit and that. Come on, man. <laughs> it just looks so obvious, man. You know, it just looks so obvious. They want to show Roxy being stretched to uh, the ambulance. Yes, I'm sure. Yes, Booker T did go in the ring and check up on her. And Shawn Michaels came out to check up on Roxy. Because they're good actors. They're very good actors. Those guys have been in the game for 30 plus years. So they know how to fool a lot of the fans, a lot of the wrestling fans. Because I see a lot of. Fans on social media wondering, oh, is this a work? Is this a shoe? Is this real? I don't know what to make of it. They, they can't get their head around it. They don't know what to make of the angle. But the reason being is that some of them, like in 1995, like I just said, with Shawn Michaels collapsing in the ring after a good match with Owen Hart. They were either born, they were either just born 
during that time or they're just too young to remember. So that's the reason why they believe that this whole thing could be real. They don't know what to make of it. Me, myself, I know that the whole thing is scripted. It's all a work. I've been watching wrestling for over 30 years, so I've seen shit like that during my years of watching wrestling, so they ain't fooling me. They might be fooling you, but they ain't fooling me, man. It's a work. Roxy deserves an Oscar. Booker T, Shawn Michaels, they all deserve an Oscar. You know? Because that was executed really well. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's all I wanted to say. I, didn't want, I don't want to make this video too long, but I just wanted to get that out there because people are already starting to panic. But don't be a sucker. Don't be a sucker. Always do your research first before you jump to conclusions. Because like I said, if it was real, I'm sure they would have announced it on social media already. Because social media, the way information gets put out there really fast, you'd already know. So yeah, Roxy, she's the future of the company. So her, Cora Jade, those girls got a big, big future ahead of them. So we just have to wait and see what happens. Because I know there's going to be a rematch between Mecha Satomura and uh, Roxy. Whether she's a face or they turn her, her heel, you know what I'm saying? Now, when they do turn Roxy Hill, she might be a very good one at that. Because it's always the ones with the baby face that have the darkest shit in their closet. So that's all I've got to say. Peace.